Well, the question on oh, everybody's mind is how is it that we can stop this? Let's ask the experts who are joining us on the broadcast. We have Dr. Mukesh Chandar, who's the former DGP of Goa. He's also a Shivning Cyber Security Fellow at Cranfield University in UK. We have Shreya Suri, who's a cyber law expert and partner at Indus Law. Mr. Dilip Cherian, who's a well-known image guru, is also joining us on the broadcast. I want to cut across to Mr. Uh, you know, Muktesh Chandar first. Dr. Chandar, my question to you is, and most of us are wondering at this point in time that what is it that can be done at a policy or a regulatory level to stop this? Is this about the accountability of these applications slash platforms or perhaps the government can do something? Dr. Muktesh Chandra. Uh, first of all, uh, as you are all aware that the IT Act is in place and the rules, a, lot, a number of rules have been framed. Yeah. including one way which lays down the responsibility of the intermediaries. Hmm. The stand which is in the beginning was that they have nothing to do with the content and they are neutral, they, are, they, are, they, are, they, they just provide the platform. From that stand to what the government of India has always been asking, there has been a quite a substantial change in the attitude of the, uh, these uh, companies and now the accountability is increasing. So they once uh, the the problem lies that once they are notified they are uh, that their content is objectionable it is a uh, uh, amounting to crime then they are supposed to remove it within a time frame hmm. if they don't do then the their accountability is there and they are also liable as per the law of the land hmm. but problem is that do they have their own internal mechanism of uh, filtering such things yeah. or or is there anything they are doing or they are they are just uh, uh, making money out of the platforms and uh, uh, the responsibility lies on the general public or the victim to inform. Hmm. Hmm. And the problem of deep fakes is <clears throat> not a recent phenomenon. And for the last few years, we have been seeing it. And particularly in uh, several countries, uh, uh, cyber crimes uh, committed using deep fakes have started. Hmm. And porn world is full of all these things. Exactly. Uh, we have waken up uh, 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 from a uh, sort of... Uh, Slumber. Uh, uh, I would say slumber uh, yeah. uh, because of this uh, recent case and uh, now, now a lot of uh, exercise is going on uh, within the uh, uh, government circles about which I am aware that uh, several new rules are likely to come up which will fix uh, this. Uh, but the problem uh, will not stop because the uh, AI generated deep fakes. It was easy to identify <coughs> normal morphing yeah. Of pictures. Yeah. But now it is possible using AI to to do it uh, much more professionally, uh, uh, where voice can also be mimicked, uh, lip syncing can also be done. And absolutely, it can be it can be very very difficult, uh, Mr. Dilip Charin. Uh, when it when it comes to these uh, celebrities. Think, when it comes to these, I'll come back to you, Dr. Chandan. Uh, Mr. Charyan, when it comes to these celebrities, of course, these are, you know, well-known actresses, models, celebrities, and they can call out that this is a deep fake and, you know, this is something uh, wrong that has been done to us. But I know a lot of women who are professionals, who are active on social media, and their images have been used on pornographic sites. They have approached the Delhi police, but even right now, the images have not been taken down. It is a huge problem, especially for women, and, and I want how exactly is it that the authorities are going to grapple with it? As the, one of the experts really pointed out, that technology has gone much ahead of how much law and authorities can really do. Totally agree with you. I think that the law is running too slow to try and catch up with the technology that's moving very, very fast. Hmm. So the law will always be behind and we need to recognize that in which is the sphere of technology we talk about. Yes. The second thing is that celebrities and Bollywood and people like that are in one category. But the real danger which government seems to have woken up to is the fact that as we head into election season, yeah. as somebody who talks to a lot of political parties, I can see what's being produced, what's being done in one place or the other. There is a danger that deep fakes could actually alter the nature of the narrative. Exactly. And that is a yeah. huge danger for society as a whole. Yeah. Number three, the bigger danger to my view is that government is trying to move at a knee-jerk pace hmm. where it has promised that in the next 10 days it will bring in new rules and regulations. Hmm. Too often we find that this kind of thing 
only results in more pressure on the platforms rather than any actual results. Yeah. So what is going to happen is that we may indeed have rules on the bounds, but the question we need to ask is, are these good enough? Are these forward-looking enough? And are we making sure that the, the platforms themselves are partners with us in making sure because they also have an interest in making sure they catch these things. Absolutely. So we need to make sure that we work in tandem with them rather than as in a sense of hostility. So if you look at all these three cases, politics, rule making yeah. and partnerships. Yeah. If you look at all these three things, yeah. I think we can tackle this far better. Um, I want to bring in Shreya also into the discussion. Shreya, um, you know, these women who are highly successful women, model actresses in the public domain, their images being morphed, mm -hmm. uh, that has come to light. And of course, I'm sure action will also follow. But imagine if this is done to a woman living in a smaller city, in a smaller town of the country, and the kind of ostracization it can bring to somebody. The second important aspect, of course, has been raised by Mr. Cherin is about political misinformation, which I believe is far more dangerous. When it comes to these applications that you can simply mm -hmm. download on your phone from the place, store there is no vetting process per se which is done by the authorities anybody can go ahead do a basic check with the google play mm -hmm. comply with their norms and launch this application but the government of india at the regulatory level has no checks and balances at this stage of launch do you think that's the gate that we really need to put a keeper on see uh, i think before delving very very deep into this issue we first need to understand you know that what we are dealing here uh, i mean what we are dealing with here is intermediary platforms hmm. and section uh, section 79 and these rules that have come in were formed to provide a sort of safe harbor to them hmm. so that they are not directly held liable for the content which is posted on the platform primary reason being that it is not generated by these platforms Yes, uh, you know, there are certain due diligence measures which have been mandated through these rules and certain minimum amount of checks and balances that go into moderation of the content which is posted. Yeah. But having said that, uh, to what extent can you start getting into the content and the vetting process to still... Uh, you know, be able to seek the protection of that safe harbor. I mean, mm. at what point are you seen to be actually curating the content on your, on your platform versus, uh, you know, whether you are genuinely providing true user-generated content okay. to the audience. Okay. So that's where the conundrum really lies. Huh. And um, I do understand, you know, there are deep fakes uh, that have been going very, very viral because of this, uh, I mean, because of which this issue has become quite a burning one, although this has been going on for a while now. Yeah. And uh, with the advent of generative AI, there are so many platforms which actually uh, enable the creation of explicit and adversarial yeah, content. Yeah, and that's, that's exactly the point, Shreya, that I was talking that about. Kind of that's, that's exactly the point.